Time to take this up a notch! Let's do this! I'll destroy all of Goku's friends! I am a god! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Legendary Yagwing here, and today I'll be doing a tutorial which was requested on my last stream. Uh, and that was for me to tell you guys how I am able to put my customized voices in game on whatever character I want. I can pretty much, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want with their voice audio files, whether it's from music or fighting dialogue, whatever you want. You can change it and I'll teach you guys how. So you're gonna need these two things right here. This is our example mod that we're gonna be using later on, but you're going to need the Yace file you're going to need Eternity's audio tool. Now the Yace file, you're gonna use that to unpack the data that you need that you want to basically uh, delve into, I suppose. So let's go ahead and open this up. It'll give you everything that's in the game. And I believe it's the fastest way. I don't know, I'm kind of late with a lot of these things and sometimes I have the older version. But you know what, if it's not broke, don't fix it. We're gonna to go to CPK. Obviously, uh, I'm kind of skipping apart. For those of you who don't know, uh, you go to your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 directory and you need to find out wherever it is. Okay, I know where mine is. Find where yours is. Go to CPK. Drop your yes, and I already got one in there, but just for the sake of seeing it, you know, no magic. It's all there. No smoking mirrors. And you're going to open this up. Now, the CPK file, you want to find the CPK file that you want to unpack. I like to unpack the biggest one, and that's the data.cpk. It's going to give me the most, and where do I want to save it? I want to save it where everything else is. Why not? It's already good. Extract. And it says, do you want to extract? Yes. Do it. And it does it pretty quickly. It's going to uh, give you the files of the game, and you can do this with all of the CPK files if you want to, just to make sure you have every last one of the files. You can do that with everything if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part so you guys are not bored. Let's do it. All right, finally. Now let's see our prize. All right, we can go to sound, Vox, and we're gonna go to battle, Chara, and right here, this is all Japanese, and over here, this is the English version. So, let's say, I'm gonna do it more advanced, okay, because in any other case, you can simply replace this, leave the data folder in your uh, Xenoverse 2 directory, with the new file after you've edited it, but we're gonna tell you how to do it in the external mode. So anyways, let's go ahead and open up Eternity's audio tool, because this is where he comes into place. We can drag this on out here, open it up. All right, and then we're gonna hit Eternity audio tool. Now, we can close this out now. Go to File, Open, and let's see. Uh, Let's go to our newly fresh files, CPK, data, sound, box, battle. And let's see, okay, I'm gonna take Bardock's files. So, we're gonna hit uh, load internal and load external. External, that's the welcoming messages. So, if you go here, you'll see the things that he was saying when he Let's welcomed, start over. Like, when he started to match, you know? You're welcome. <laughs> Torn it. Hey, hey, what's wrong? That's what those are for, generally. So, we open this up again, go to internal, and these are all of his battle features. So, over here, ah! you can edit this. This. Why? You can choose to, you can click on one thing, and then you can replace it with another. So, what we're going to do is we're going to extract all. Okay, because you can replace all. Or you can extract all. For this one, we're going to extract all. And let's put a little folder for Bardux files. We put BDK. Select folder. Extract all. Now, 
what we want to do here. Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and install our test mod. Matter of fact, I can just drag it, I believe, right? I can do that. No? Okay, that's cool. We'll go to it. Example mod, install. Alright, so we have our mod now. It's in data. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look for the file for our new mod. Now it's going to be here. This is our example mod. Go to Vox, Battle, Chera. And the one that I had assigned to this one was this one. So this is the original for the my X swim that I have. Now we're going to go ahead and load internal and we are going to yeah. replace everything. This is original stuff. Get back here. Pathetic. We're going to replace it all with BDK. Use loop data? No, do not loop. You don't want your audio to be looping in battles all the time. Don't loop. All right, we do that, and we save. Now, another thing to point out here, let's go over here. All of these files, they have to have, if you're going to replace all, they have to have the correct uh, labels. So they have to have the correct numbers because that's what they're going to be assigned to. When I extracted this, it came out just like this. So when I replace all, it replaced everything according to number. So, moving on, we are going to see, well, if you don't know how to put your custom audio that we just created, we created the file now. Okay, we have our file. I wanted to teach you guys how to make the file to put onto your X2M. Now, for those who don't even know how to do that with their X2M, let's go to that. All right, so that's the skill creator. All these icons look the same. All right, so. Let's go ahead and we're going to click our example mod. We're going to go back to desktop. And now we want to go to files. Now, if you're going to add audio or basically you can add anything. This is the easiest way. You go to additional new data. And now we're going to choose the address for that. Now, the address that I have for this one, it's going to be this custom one I made. I put this as clear addition new data so I can kind of add whatever I want. So here I can make this the address. All right. As a matter of fact, let me make sure because you have to click this part first. All right, select folder. It says that directory contains a system what defeats the philosophy of a new character? Yeah, that's good. That's what we want, buddy. We're doing that. All right. Uh, okay. So let's find our file. So this is the file that we just saved. We just edited this one. So what we're going to do now, go to our clear additional data after we've copied it. We're going to go to sound, box, character, all that stuff. Drop it in here. It's empty aside from the items that I want to add on. So now we can just save that. Let's save it back as our example mod. I hope you guys are following this. I mean, because this is kind of a lengthy amount of steps. So after that, that should be done. That should be it. Uh, yeah, let's fast forward to loading. All right, all that's left is to install this bad boy and uh, let's go. We reinstall it, of course. All right, we're gonna fast forward this part and we're gonna see if it works. He should have Bardock's voice. Oh, wait, 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 one thing. Um. In case you didn't know, um, 
Honestly, this is not that type of tutorial, but this is kind of where you choose where it goes. So you see how this says G0Z? In the character creator, that's where you choose your custom uh, name. You put the name there and your file should say the same. AMK, GOZ, blah, 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 same thing. Okay, let's go. Uh, fast forward. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, we will see if this is a uh, Bardock in an android's body, essentially. Sounds like Bardock to me. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, Join the Discord if you have any gotcha. questions whatsoever. Um, we'll try to help you as a community the best that we can. Anyways, this has been Legendary Agway. And I'm out. Peace.